So from the overall economic space of Singapore, I like to think of uh, trust as one of the key factors that has really brought Singapore to what it is uh, today. In the broad theme of trust, three elements. One, connectivity. The second is innovation, really. And the last is uh, talent. Trust in terms of the physical infrastructure and the ability to get things done. How do we continue to remain connected and continue to leverage all the seaports and airports? Just basic infrastructure. They hold trust as well as a system of rules and guidelines such that people know the environment they operate in. For Singapore, there are two real urban dynamics that play an important role. The first is our urban infrastructure. So from the beginning, we planned the city very efficiently. We built up the necessary urban infra infrastructure, whether this is housing, transport, ports, the airport. So we ensured that there was sufficient infrastructure to let the economy function efficiently so that people could get to work. Uh, companies would be able to have access to stable electricity, internet, all the basic hygiene factors for, for businesses to operate. And the second thing we did was that we planned for clustering. What I mean is that we intentionally set out a central business district. We had firms who could work closely together. We also had decentralized uh, business districts. So that is a process that is still ongoing. Uh, some of the examples in more recent times would be your Pongo Digital District, Jurong Innovation District. So in Singapore, our urban planning is very focused on the needs of businesses, of the economy. We want to create innovation clusters where firms, entrepreneurs who come together, new ideas and new businesses. So in that way, we experience a lot of increasing returns to our economic activity because we plan the space very carefully to cater to the needs of all these businesses. So Singapore's neutral location is really something that facilitates this connectivity as well. Because companies then look into Singapore as a neutral standpoint, as somewhere where East meets West, where cultures are understood, but also global business laws are also recognised and practices are also recognised as well. And so if, you, if I think about this client who came overseas and met us here in Singapore, they really wanted to get things done as quickly as possible and as much as possible. And I think it was amazing that what brings out Singapore as a HQ location, a business location, in terms of the ecosystem of business partners, so you have business connectivity and you had a physical proximity as Singapore being a small island, that he could quickly connect with many different kinds of folks in order to think about how his logistics needs could be adequately addressed. And he had also personal financial needs as well, which I think uh, overall he was able to address and then be able to meet the right people in order to do so. As a global financial centre, I think it is critical that we remain competitive and relevant to this increasingly digitised uh, global economy. And one of the ways we have done so is to explore these emerging sectors such as fintech, cryptocurrency, blockchain, the ways that technology has intersected with finance, with economic activity. And I believe that we have built up a lot of the expertise for exploring these sectors. So that is a key way that we have retained the competitiveness of our global financial centre. Over the past you know, 10 to 20 years, what really drove innovation was really something along the lines of a knowledge economy, whereby the universities and the research institutes in Singapore actually contributed much in order to drive innovation and really boost the knowledge capacity. And much of some of the newer industries like biotechnology came out from that knowledge base. But if I think about the future and I think about innovation, it has not lost its scientific appeal, but it has added the elements of speed as well as agility. And as I was talking to some of the startups in Singapore itself, they talk about how in ASEAN, the capabilities may be uneven, but if you know how the culture and the business and work processes of some of the IT and traditional comm science people, you can still tap on that talent in order to drive that digital innovation that you are also seeking. And so what I see is you need new capabilities on digital front and agile front, a mix of business processes and digital. But I think that new capability for Singapore to garner and manage regional, if not global talent in order to achieve innovation across borders, I think that will render Singapore well in terms of innovation in the future uh, itself. So I think there's a lot of opportunity for Singapore to tap into the global digital economy. 
And we have developed the economy in a way. We have developed a very strong global financial centre. We have fostered the creation of a tech sector, an innovation hub. And certainly we have planned the city in such a way that space is created for all these businesses. So I think there is plenty of opportunity for Singapore in the post-COVID world.